In the summer of 2021, a major forest fire that is considered the largest in history broke out in Turkey, which was already suffering from severe earthquake damages. Korean citizens came together to support Turkey's forest fire recovery efforts, which led to the funding of approximately 150,000 saplings. Let's take a look at the public diplomacy carried out by the Embassy of the Republic of Korea in Turkey. The sapling donations began after Kim Yong-gyung, a Korean volleyball player, mentioned the damages afflicted by the forest fire in an interview during the 2021 Tokyo Olympics women's volleyball quarterfinals between Korea and Turkey. The fundraising efforts, which started among the players' fans, spread across the nation and led to a long relay of donations. In about just a month, the citizens of Korea donated a total of 150,000 saplings to the Turkish Environmental Organization Federation. This spirit of donation from our citizens has evolved into a project to create a korea turkey friendship forest in the areas affected by the forest fires. As a result, korea turkey friendship forests have been established in six regions in Turkey. Each of our citizens' donations led to environmental restoration projects in the fire-stricken areas of Turkey, which demonstrates the profound and unique friendship between the two countries. Korea and Turkey have a very special relationship. The long-lasting friendship began with Turkey's participation in the Korean War and further strengthened with the 2002 World Cup. The Friendship Forest Project, which took place during the Tokyo Olympics, advanced the friendship between the two countries to the global level by developing it into a collaborative effort for environmental protection. The sapling donations started spontaneously among the Korean citizens and spread to Korean companies and overseas compatriots. It became a significant project with the cooperation of NGOs in the host country and evolved into a large-scale environmental project with the cooperation of the host government and the Embassy of the Republic of Korea in Turkey, very well demonstrating the power of public-private cooperation. The project received considerable attention both domestically and internationally, both online and offline. Turkey, with whom we share a long-standing friendship, experienced immense damage due to the largest forest fire in its history. But it warms my heart to know that it received tremendous help from Korea. Lately, Turkey has been facing difficulties yet again due to earthquake damage, and the citizens of the Republic of Korea were at the forefront of helping our brother country, Turkey. This was a heartwarming case of public diplomacy that united the two nations in difficult times.